Hey friends! I hope you guys are enjoying your snow day. I'm going to read to you guys a story about a little boy and his snow day. Little boy right here. The author and illustrator is Ezra Jack Keats and the title is The Snowy Day. This is the title page, The Snowy Day. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. What do you think Peter wants to do? After breakfast, he puts on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the streets to make a path for walking. Crutch, crutch, crutch. His feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. And he walked with his toes pointing in like that. Hmm. Footprints. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. Do you guys remember what tracks are? Remember animals make tracks in the ground? And now Peter's making tracks in the snow. Tracks are marks that are made. I wonder what Peter found sticking out of the snow. It was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking the snow covered trees. Down fell the snow plop on top of Peter's head. Oh no, <laughs> he's making more footprints, more tracks in the snow. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. So he made a smiling snowman and made angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall heap of mountain of snow and slid all the way down. Oh, that looks like fun. We went sledding. Did you guys go sledding? Did you make a snowman? Hmm, we did. We made a snowman. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house He told his mother all about his adventures while, he while she took off his wet socks. Hmm. He didn't step in a puddle. Why is his, why is his socks wet? Hmm. And he thought and thought and thought about them. 
do you think he's thinking about in the bathtub? Is he thinking about his wet socks? And how do they become wet? Hmm, I don't know. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. Look at the picture where his snowball was. It looks dark. Like maybe something wet was there. While he slept, he dreamt that the sun had melted all the snow away. Hmm, so that's what happened. That's what happened. The snow melted in his pocket because he was inside and it was warm. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. After breakfast, he called his friend from across the hall and they went out together in the deep, deep snow. I hope you guys enjoyed your snow day. Um, and I hope you enjoy the story about Peter and his snow day. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye!